Hi, my name is Tom Chick. I'm here in the uh, Age of Empires multiplayer front end with Jason D. McMaster. Hi, Jason. Hi, hello. Uh, McMaster, what are we doing today? What what sides are we playing? What factions will we each be? We will be randomly determining our factions today. That's right. I have a list here of the 14 factions of the game. Uh, they come up when you hit Create City, and then you click on this from the Chinese all the way down to the Aztecs. In this order, we're numbering them 1 to 14. We're going to randomly roll up who is which faction. So, McMaster, let's do you first. Ready? Here's what all I'm going right. to do. I'm going to switch us over so everybody knows that this is above board. I'm going to switch us over. Except for me currently. I do not know if this is above board. You do not. You're going you're gonna to be able to check the 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 video later so you will know that it is all legit. McMaster, I am now generating for you a number between 1 and 14. Are you ready? I'm ready. The, the, the viewers can see this right now on the screen. I believe they can. Yes, they can. Here we go, McMaster, between 1 and 14. 1. McMaster, you are the Chinese. Oh, okay. How do you feel about that? Fine. I'll okay. go ahead and create a Chinese city. I now, for me, between 1 and 14, ready? Here we go, McMaster. I could be the Chinese as well. This could be China on China violence. Oh, yes. It could be like uh, like Taiwan all over again. One China theory, that whole thing. All that could be kicking in. Let's find out. <laughs> between 1 and 14, 9. McMaster, I'm the Russians. No, oh, interesting. Okay, well, How at least it's a war that could actually happen. It is, that's true. This could. This is definitely within the realm of possibility. Yeah, I believe it probably has happened. Yeah. yeah. Surely they've had a war at some point. All right, I'm going down to Russians. I'm hitting OK. Uh, I now have to name my city. I'm going to name it... Uh, oh, I don't know. What? What's a good r name for a Russian city, McMaster? I don't know. Uh, St. Chikistov. There. That is a good one, yeah. My explorer... Is going to be named. Uh, oh shoot! What's a what's a Russianization of my name? Tomchik. Yeah, that's 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 a good one. Yeah. That's the uh, affectionate diminutive in Russian. I actually had a Ukrainian girlfriend once who called me Tomchik. Well, there you go. I don't want you to call me that, McMaster. That would be creepy. I I won't. All right, McMaster. I have made my Russian city of uh, what did I call it? Oh, I already... McMaster, I have a level 23 Russian city. Can I use that against against you no. in our game? <laughs> Why am I level 10 on this video? Ha ha. I'm level 20. Uh, there are different starting levels for different uh, factions in the game. Uh, okay, yeah. They kind of feel like, well, China has an unfair advantage. We're going to start their city at a lower level. Oh, is that what it is? Yep. I don't believe you. It's true. All right, McMaster, uh, how do I host a game? Oh, good lord. I feel like... Uh, uh, game browser, host game. All right, here we go, McMaster. I'm going to give it a password of... Because previously when we've had, tried to join games, random people have jumped into my game, and it scares me before you can get yeah. in. I don't know what to tell them. I don't want to say, hey, get out of here. I'm waiting for Jason McMaster. They might not know who you are. That's so true. I either just I just bail on the game, and they think, oh, what, what, who's this, this dill hole who hosted a game and then bailed? So, McMaster, the password for this game will be Sanders. Yeah. All uh, right. Okay, whoops, now I have to make sure I select the correct city. Uh, St. Chickastoff. Uh, all right, McMaster, I will now send you an invite. Okay. I don't think you'll need to know the password. Probably not. But just for future reference, it's there. Now, previously, uh, you've had issues where you can't figure out the internet and you can't join the game. Uh, just restart. Away. Interesting. It's... And we've also, in troubleshooting it, we've figured out that the problem isn't on my end because random people join my game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? I'm sure random people could join my... I don't think so. I don't think so. Until you do whatever uh, <clears throat> fancy internet shenanigans you are now doing to fix it. You're actually doing the time-honored uh, tactic of just turning something off and turning, turning it, it off on. and on again. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, which n makes zero sense to me. But I've had again. enough. I've had enough experience with computer stuff that I, I don't know that it makes sense to me, but it, it almost always works. 
Yeah, I know. It, yeah, I mean, I've worked in IT for. Oh right, yeah, it's, 20, it's your line of work. Twenty some odd exactly. years now. Yeah. It does work. All right, go ahead and try again. Okay. Now, is there anything you want to tell us, McMaster, about what your strategy will be with the Chinese? I don't really know a lot about the Chinese. So. The Chinese, I believe, start with two warrior monk type fellows. Uh, what you want to do is charge them into battle. Actually, I'm only half kidding. They are, I believe, pretty badass fighters, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, okay, the, good. the Russians, you're going to love this, McMaster. The Russians are kind of the Zerg of Age of Empires 3 in that they have these yeah. cheap units called Strelitz. And I'm guessing, yeah. I don't want to give anything away, McMaster, I'm guessing you might be seeing a lot of them today. Yeah, I play, I've played as the Russians before. All right, so here we go. It's going to be a random map. Uh, McMaster, we previously played with the French and the Sioux. Uh, this is kind yes. of a reboot. Oh, we are back. This is the map we had last week. Are you it's... sure this is a random map? I think it's... you're trying to pull a trick nope. here. It is all maps. Uh, that's the setting. Okay. Yeah, here's elephants. Uh, McMaster, we might find on this map uh, macaque. Oh, you might really? get to see macaque on this map. Oh, that. finally. Right, <laughs> Uh, Did you know, I actually saw this, uh, this is a true thing, in um, Kenya, I believe. Oh, yeah, McMaster, I've just seen, I, I now am looking at a lion-tailed macaque. I bet you are. McMaster, do you want to see macaque? Here it is. Uh, right listen, here. I, don't, I don't know what you're watching over there. but uh... Uh, In Kenya recently, a stupid little monkey jumped onto like a transformer at the power plant or whatever, and... Um, what? I can only build three settlers at a time? I guess I'm okay with that. Uh, and it short-circuited the entire country's uh, electricity. One little monkey. Which just reinforces my theory that monkeys are horrible little creatures. It's not that I completely disagree, but... Oh, yeah, there's my cock. They're so, so easy to beat, my cock. Uh, so immediately I'm finding out, I did not realize this, I did not remember this, uh, Russians can only build settlers in groups of three. Uh, that's not a cool thing to say about villagers. They've done nothing, they've done nothing against you. Master, I've just found a, a Bhakti temple. It trains oh, yeah. tiger claws, and you can learn from this Bhakti temple yoga vegetarianism, and reinforced gauntlets. Does any of those sound good to you? Uh, not really, no. Okay, in that case, I call dibs on it. Don't take it. Okay, I don't, I don't want it. I'm a jerk would have anyway. Master, I've just found some delinquent thuggies as well. I found a couple of delinquent thuggies myself. I have to admit, I'm not sure what a thuggy is. It's one of those words that I've seen a lot. It is a little strange. Yeah. <laughs> it is not what you expect, no. Uh... Hmm. Well, the, my deck of cards doesn't really seem uh, that impressive. What? Definitely going to need to unlock some better cards here. Здравствуйте. Oh. Thuggies. Строитель. Okay, let's see. Uh, I'm now researching, McMaster, a polar explorer. Does that does that oh. terrify you? Yeah. Uh, slightly, yeah, because I am, uh, I guess, afraid of uh, cold. Well, he has more hit points. He does more damage. He's better at fighting Get guardians, but more importantly, he gets an explorer's dog. Get Tom Chick out of here. Don't, I told you, if you call me that, it's creepy. Uh, where's his explorer's dog, McMaster? Oh, look at all your little dudes. You just shoot some of my guys? Well, I just sort of what wanted to let them know who's boss. Don't make me attack you. Uh, you guys are wearing those little coolie hats. Is it racist, by the way, to call those coolie hats? Do you know? I don't know. Okay. Um, I don't know I either. mean, probably. But, you know, I'm just going to let you go ahead. Master, I'm fighting a tiger. Who would win in a fight between a polar explorer and a tiger? Go with a tiger on that one. Okay, uh, I'm afraid you're wrong. The polar well, I mean explorer. in real life. Ah. I mean, not, not fantasy. I just found a pool of quicksilver. Well, I bet you did. Uh, 
enough. Man, I'm just cutting down tigers right and left, McMaster. Really leave the tigers out of this. Well, they kind of asked for it. I also just found an erotic dragonfly. That's horrifying. <laughs> it's actually exotic, not erotic. McMaster, I'm seeing a whole lot of macaque over here. You, what? Uh, what? I'm seeing a whole lot of macaque over here. I believe you. I'm not. Uh, yeah. What? Everything I was going to say there yeah. sounded horrible when I thought about it. <laughs> what? I don't understand. Why? Okay, so the, my train of thought was like, I'm not going to touch macaque. <laughs> That's not good. And uh, just, uh, it's going to go downhill from there. So. You don't want to touch macaque. They carry disease, McMaster. They're filthy exactly. little things that carry disease. <laughs> what? Well, I don't know why you're laughing at it. That's true. Revolting. Yeah. AIDS came from macaque. I don't know about macaque, but monkeys know, caused AIDS. <laughs> you know what? Can we bleep that out? Can I? Can I have not said that? Is there any? I... <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite statement so far. <laughs> if I ever get, to, if I, if I ever make a quarter to three like presser that I send out or something, right. that's going to be one of the pull quotes on. <laughs> Of course, I'll have to spell it properly if it's a presser, so that takes some of the fun out of it, but, but still. <laughs> Just the fact that you're saying presser, you're such an industry insider, McMaster. So awesome is the problem. Uh, I'm not remembering some things here. Okay, I'm figuring this out. Правильно. Uh, do you know uh, Russian, McMaster? If I start, like, telling you no. some of the things my villagers are saying, okay, good. Then they can talk without you knowing what they're saying. I like that. Yeah, that, that is a, that is a huge advantage. Здравствуйте. Ah! McMaster, the hotkey for building a house is not H. It's E. Приказ? I don't know how you would not remember that. E for house. Oh, I mean, obviously. Здравствуйте. Oh, shoot. Правильно. Да. Дровосек. Oh. Oh, yeah. Look who's age two. Congrats, I guess. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Yeah, no problem, man. I'm... Hey! Oh. Mm. I think you're pretty smart, don't you? Что? Uh, kind of. Здравствуйте. Готов. Дровосек. I'm pretty rad. Alright, fine. That's how it's gonna be. Oh, yeah, it's gonna be that way. Hmm. I'm what do I want to build? I'm overzealous in that department. So... You're overzealous in what department? I like you being overzealous. That helps me. No, 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 nothing. I uh, having played had a ransom back my explorer. Oh, that you were overzealous in that department. I like that. Oh yeah, I was certainly overzealous in that department. I'm always overzealous. In that McMaster, having played the Sioux. Uh, the Sioux don't have to build housing, because they have infinite, they, they start out with a full population capacity. So it's kind of annoying that I now have to build housing. I really do feel for you there. Thank you. you know, Thank you so much. I had to so much. But, I appreciate your uh, sympathy. Yeah, yeah, you should. It's, uh, it's so, Master, I just shot another tiger. Don't shoot tigers, Nope, man. I'm what, depopulating, I'm depopulating the tigers off of this map. What a fucking jerk. I do not approve of them being here. Four, four targets. Now there, that stuff's weird. What's weird? What's going on? Works. Okay, fine. Oh, that's right. They do everything in groups. Oh, you're getting your Chinese in groups. They come out in clusters. Right. Okay. Right. They do everything like in groups. You know. Yeah. China is a collective society. That's true. So, it's very realistic, McMaster. Здравствуйте. 
Здравствуйте. Готово. Дровосек. Ах, Мастер, could you loan me some resources, please? Obviously no. No. Правильно. Будет сделано. Да, будет сделано. Uh, one of the things my guys says is you just chill I don't know what that means. Приказ? Something, did you say that I was chilling? Was... <laughs> it's something. I don't know what exactly the words are, but it does sound like something like Beautis Jelena. I don't know that chilling is actually part of that, but. I think it is. Beautis Jelena. They also say Strayichin. Not sure what that means either. Shoot a monkey. Hmm. Yeah, it really sucks not having a good uh, deck of cards. Yeah, I was actually thinking that a minute ago. I was like, oh, this is, uh, this is fun. <laughs> Basically, it does minimize the impact of experience points, I feel. Some of their stuff's pretty expensive. China stuff is expensive? Some of it. Yeah. yeah. Don't buy the expensive things, I recommend. I'd rather you not oh, get yeah. that. Oh, yeah. Only buy the crappy ones. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm with you there. Got to the steel. Somehow too. I can feel it. I feel well, it kind of helps me a lot when I cheat, I feel. Yeah, I thought it might. What? <laughs> Flamethrowers? That's not a real thing, Master. Flamethrowers? Who ever heard of that? Why are you cussing my Strelix? Well, that's your opinion. Oh yeah. Uh, you and your asshole. <laughs> we don't like your villagers, I'm afraid. Yeah. Can't just let a man have his Jackass troops. Что будет сделать? Are you cussing my troops again? Doing what? Doing a lot of work for cheap troops. They are definitely uh, holding their own. I'm quite happy with their performance. Uh, well, yeah, you'd have to be. I'm gonna give them all raises. I've also got a dog over here. I don't know if you know. An explorer's dog. Please do not kill my explorer's dog. Будет сделано. Приказ? Да, правильно. Да. Oh, Horatio, I'm dead. Thou livest to report my cause a right to the unsatisfied. Your dude just said that. All right, McMaster, let's see what is going on here. I had to just divert way too much attention to the war effort. I've neglected a lot of other important things. I mean, well, you've won. I don't have any... I don't have the resources. That was basically, I apologize, a Strelit Rush. Yep. Because that's all I remember about the Russians, is that the Strelits are... You get a bunch of them, they're cheap. Let's see, what are they What are they good at attacking? Uh, siege attack, I can't tell if that's any good. Uh, double damage against heavy infantry, light cavalry. They're not as effective against regular cavalry. 
don't know if this is a good siege attack, but with so many of them, I'm sure the siege damage adds up. Uh, I didn't really see what I was. Random berets that is like great at rushing. What? Yeah, that that's probably um, a little dismaying to see that come up. Now you know the counter for rushing, and I, I don't mean to sound pedantic here, but uh, the counter is turtling. Like if you can sort of figure out whatever the turtling strategy would be for these guys. Well, yeah. I, mean, I, I have no idea how the Chinese work, so that probably didn't help. Right. Yeah. The whole oh look, you get everything in groups. Like having to discover that as we played was uh, yeah. Hey, wait a minute with the flamethrower. So unfair. Oh, look at my dog. My dog is tearing up your flamethrower. It doesn't look like it's doing that much damage, the flamethrower. It killed five or six guys. Did it? Okay. Yeah. I also have Cossacks. Uh, oh, a Falconet. McMaster, I love me some Falconets. So these are your villagers attacking my Strelitz. Yeah. It's kind of uncool, but okay, you know what? I can take it. Uh, my Strelitz come in groups of ten, by the way. Speaking of things coming in groups... Alright, you guys have done a fair... good job against my uh, Strelitz. Oh, the fact that my I've got a healthy economy going over here. With uh, plenty of food, plenty of gold, wood. Uh, you'll be glad to know my um, hero is down. It's nice to finally have artillery. I mean, the Sioux are fine, and I liked their little fire dance and stuff. But there's nothing quite so gratifying as, gratifying as these cannons here going off. Now, this is a falconet, which is mainly just good, I, I believe, against infantry. Oh, no, it's double damage against, against vehicles. Uh, double damage against buildings. But it's super effective against infantry. Да, правильно. Да, правильно. Будет сделано. Приказ? Да. Что? Готов. Что? Правильно. Будет сделано. Готов. Yeah. All right, so how do you feel about future prospects here? Like, now that you know that I've got the effective rush faction. And I, actually, I don't know if... Well, yeah, I don't know how you would... Uh, like, like, do towers counter these guys? I mean, obviously you want your uh, light obviously skirmishers. Obviously my castle didn't. <laughs> you had a castle? Yeah. Oh, that's a castle. Okay, it's not like a fortress, though. Right, right. Uh, it's like a mini fortress. Is that your barracks where you make troops? No, I mean, it makes artillery. Oh! You didn't get that in the Second Age, did you? You get that in the Second Age? Yeah, but I don't get to make any of the shit except for flamethrowers. Oh, uh, the flamethrower, right, right. Uh, uh, yeah, here are your barracks. It's War Academies, good. What's that? Temple of Heaven. Oh, right, when you age up, you get, uh, like, a Wonder of the World that you build. Right, right. Uh, what did your uh, Temple of Heaven give you? Do you remember? I could heal my troops, but I didn't realize it at time for that. 
Interesting. You've got your rice paddy for agriculture there. So I admit, oh, I forget on this map we have the trade routes uh, north and south. So I'd grab that whole trade route to the south, which I'm sure helped me somewhat. Uh, well, yeah, my dumbass guy died fighting four thugs or something. Yeah, thuggies, I believe, are, uh, are they a religious sect? I don't know. Uh, all right, let's look at, whoops, let's look at the uh, villager count. I just want to see how well I did before uh, before the, the villager timeline got messed up by my strelots getting in there and being jerks. Uh, where are we at? Villager count. We go up here to villager population. Uh, well, well, good work, Master. You did definitely outproduce me on villagers there. I just flatlined to hit age 2 and age 3 and then basically did nothing. Yeah. But you had a good advantage. Let's look at resources. See how you did. You probably did pretty well there. Well, uh, yeah, for a while. <clears throat> yeah, for a while. I guess overall it ended up I came out ahead just because I was killing your dudes. Yeah. That, that'll do it, yeah. Uh, militaries. You, McMaster, your favorite unit was the Chukonu. I believe that's an oh. anti-infantry crossbowman, if I'm not mistaken. Guess what my I have favorite... no idea. Guess what my favorite unit was, the one I built the most of. Guess. Just take a wild guess. Uh, Any guesses? I'm not going to guess, because I know what it is. <laughs> it's pretty clear. So yeah. This is, yeah, so that was the Strelit Rush. Um, what? what uh, do you just want to bail, or should we stick with this matchup for next week? How do you feel about going forward with, with China versus Russia? That's fine. I just need to know something about my army. It's like, of all the armies, it's like the one I know nothing about. Right, is right. China. All right, well, I did not go up a level. Uh, you might have, oh, considering no. your 10th level, though. I didn't. I okay. Didn't either. Uh, so at least now we can. You know what? I'm actually going to look at my city cards and just see if there were other kinds of decks I could have made. Uh, yeah, new cards available. That's the thing, is when you start at level 20, you've got points to buy cards. Uh, yeah, I did not. I only have 15 cards. So I've got. Uh, how many do I? How can I tell how many I have? Uh, well, I've got ni 19 new ones available. Um, and okay. Oh yeah, the. Uh, I remember the European yeah, powers. I don't, it's, uh, I don't think I actually... Oh, I do have new cards available. Okay. Yeah, because that's the thing is you should get each time you go up a level you get a new card, so you should get nine new cards available plus the base because you're at tenth uh, level. At twentieth level, I get nineteen new cards. Um, so here's something, uh, McMaster. How do you feel about being attacked by hot air balloons? Oh God. I love me it's some hot air balloons. I know you do. The stupid ass spying. On yep. Their balloons. Yep. They cannot attack, but they can spy. Uh, they're, they're such jackasses. Don't you like seeing a nice Russian hot air balloon over your city, though? As kind of a sign of solidarity oh, it does. and partnership. It's, yeah, especially you know, kids from our generation. It's like an. We weren't. Yeah. We weren't programmed to be afraid of Russian infiltration. <laughs> This is before you should be afraid of that. Yeah. It's like an exchange program. Like I send over a hot air balloon and. <laughs> And you send over, yeah, I don't know. send back the secrets. Sure, exactly, right. <laughs> yeah, Russian spying? McMaster, that never happens, please. That's uh, true. That's yeah, just I not something that you thinking. see a lot of. All right, so this has been this week's <laughs> Chick and McMaster at Age of Empires 3. Next week we will uh, push this a little, f a little further forward now that we know who we have, now that we can build decks, now that McMaster can read up on, on how China works, which I confess I don't know myself. So it'll all be new to me. Whatever you come up with, McMaster, it'll be a surprise for me. So. <laughs> all right, so join us next week. Chick and McMaster playing Age of Empires 3. Uh, thanks so much for watching today. We'll see everyone next week.